Welcome to Volstead Land. This season, which is the first of, I hope, many, we will explore the life of the notorious gangster from Minneapolis, Minnesota, called Kid Can. We are your hosts. I'm Amy. And I'm Heather. So, Amy, why are we here? What started all of this? Well, several years ago, my husband and I were preparing to sell our house in uptown Minneapolis. Our friends slash realtors, a husband and wife team, were at our home hosting an open house. The wife, my friend Melissa, had a strange experience in the mostly empty home, which led to my learning about this Minnesota mobster. Neither she or I had ever heard of him before this event. Her experience is fascinating, and we'll cover that too. But it led me down a path to learning all about Isidore Blumenfield, or Blumenfeld, a.k.a. Kid Can, a.k.a. a bunch of other aliases. And I thought, this story is not well known, but it should be, and I felt like it was just too good not to share. So I decided to create this podcast. Just a disclaimer here. This podcast is not meant to glorify organized crime or this man personally. We understand that Kid Can and his crew caused a lot of pain to a lot of people. And we don't want to downplay that. We just found his story really interesting and thought you might too, whether or not you have ties to Minneapolis. Heather, do you want to give us just a little taste of what we'll be covering in this series? Sure. In the Prohibition years of Minneapolis, Minnesota, there was an underworld. Gangs of bootleggers, bandits, sluggers, and murderers roamed the streets and conducted their business. One of the most legendary figures of that time was Isidore Blumenfeld, also known as Kid Can. He began as a newsboy but grew into the most notorious gangster Minneapolis had ever known. And either a raging psychopath or the nicest guy you've ever met, depending on who you ask. Volstead Land explores this world. Join us as we journey through this era of prohibition, bootlegging, speakeasies, and bank robberies, not to mention corrupt police and government officials, empty promises, and murders. What I found so interesting about all of this is how Kid Can was able to wiggle out of nearly every scrap he got himself into. Spoiler alert, it pays to have friends in high places. Our research has been gathered mostly online from articles, forums, and newspaper archives, but also from books and first-hand accounts, or at least the passed-down stories from first-hand accounts. He was most prolific in the 1920s and 30s, so most of the people associated with him, sadly, have since passed. If you or anyone you know have any stories about Kid Can from your own life, we'd love to hear them and maybe include them in the podcast, anonymously, if you wish, of course. Please email us at volstedland at collectedsounds.com or reach out using the phone number in the show notes and leave a voicemail. Don't worry, no one answers that line. We just check voicemails and texts. Also, be sure to check the show notes for links to all our socials, as we'll be posting case files, photos, and other fun extras. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or on Amazon, Spotify, Stitcher, or Apple Podcasts. We'll end today with the full version of the theme song. This is The Last Prayer to Isidore Blumenfeld by Paolo Four Lee. I discovered this song while researching Kid Can on YouTube, but that's a story for another episode. Damn. 
podcast is produced by me, Amy, and is part of the Collected Sounds Network. We hope you will join us for Volstead Land coming soon. Okie doke.